Contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. I'm going to take this a step further and we're going to reinstall Windows 8 on this tablet. Dell provides a backup and recovery utility on this computer uh, for this tablet. However, if you, if you do not have If you do not have the recovery media or you have not created one. First thing I want to show you is, is I have here, if you, can, if you can see right here, I have a USB keyboard plugged in. Actually, I have more than just a keyboard. This is actually a hub, okay? So if I turn my camera this way, I have this hub plugged in, okay? And I have a keyboard plugged in here. And then I have a USB flash drive with Windows 8. ISO on it, bootable ISO, and this has to be formatted in FAT32 and it has to contain the 32-bit version of Windows 8 for this tablet to recognize it. So that's very important. If you don't have, if you format that drive in NTFS, it won't recognize, it won't, it won't, it will, uh, this tablet will not recognize it. So that's really important. I just wanted to point that out. But my hub is pointed is uh, plugged in here. So what I want to do is go into the BIOS and show you what the BIOS looks like. Um, so we'll go ahead and reboot the computer. And as usual, you want to immediately start pressing the F2 key when the tablet starts to reboot. And you see we have uh, F2 set up here. And there's our BIOS. So while we're in the BIOS, also since we're going to be booting to that thumb drive, we want to be sure, your secure boot, we want to be sure that secure boot is disabled as it is here. You can press it and you'll get the two options to enable or disable. You want to be sure that that is disabled okay and that's going to allow us to boot to that thumb drive okay so as with other Dell laptops or devices we're going to reboot once again okay so what we're going to do is exit and start hitting F12 now that's going to give us our boot options F12 and there's our F12 here boot options here and this is going to should give us the options. You got uh, there's our SanDisk drive here, so we'll select that. Okay. Okay, and I'll press Enter. And this is now booting to the flash drive. Starting to load our setup here. And there we have our Windows 8 setup. So we're just going to hit next, of course. Now, in this case, your touch probably will not work anymore so we'll have to use the tab key here to select next enter install now enter and then we're going to uh, start setup here okay there's our license agreement we'll have to Put a tick in that. I'm not sure how we do that. Let's see. Ah, so you press the space bar to put the tick into the accept license. 
and then tab for next, hit next. So we want to do a clean install of Windows here. Next. Okay, here are all the partitions that are available on the drive. Okay, from this point, it's just like any other Windows install. We're just going to blow out these partitions. Delete. Okay. 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 And we'll just hit uh, next. And we are proceeding now to install Windows. All right, we'll pause it here and uh, pick it back up when things get loaded. Okay, the installation is finished. And it's asking us to please unplug the following external drive and click to restart your computer and finish installing Windows. So it wants us to unplug the flash drive, which is what I've now done. Click OK, and we are restarting the computer now. And it looks like we're going to be loading into Windows. Getting devices ready. Okay, looks like we're going to reboot once again. Oop. So now we move on with our personalization. See if we get touch functionality back. We still don't have touch. H E A D. Next. Settings use Custom Express. Next. Finish. Finalizing your settings. Setting things up for you. By the way, just to let everybody know, Dell says that these tablets have not been tested or optimized for Windows 10. So if you want to install Windows 10 on these computers or on these tablets, you do so knowing that it, some functionality may be lost. And there we go. Do we have touch functionality? We do not. So we'll have to get our touch functionality going. And there's our windows. Okay, so once again, everyone, just remember that uh, just remember that I just loaded a fresh copy of Windows on this tablet. If you did a, a, a backup, uh, Dell's back, backup solution when you purchased the the tablet, uh, all you would have to do is use their recovery media and uh, you'll be back up and running. I would suggest doing it that way first. Dell also offers recovery media for sale if you want to go that route. 
The only reason why I can see why you would want to go that route is simply because Dell does not, uh, there are no uh, drivers that are, hardly new drivers that are recognized when you do a fresh install of Windows on this tablet. So if that's the case to where I don't have a recover, we don't have recovery media for this computer and I don't want to purchase any from Dell. So we do a fresh install of Windows using a thumb drive. And now, yeah, no, if you look here in Device Manager now, tons of drivers that aren't recognized and touch feature on this tablet is not recognized either. So there are just a handful of drivers there on Dell's site. So we don't have any network either. So you can't like go there directly on the tablet. So what I've done is I have side loaded, I've downloaded the drivers on another computer and put those over on another flash drive. And now I have that flash drive plugged into my USB hub here. And we're just gonna pull those over. They are right here, these. So we'll pull these over. Okay guys, and, uh, the way this has ended up is, uh, as I was saying, Excuse the blurry camera. I've had a bit of trouble just doing it like this, my camera, but um but like I say, the drivers and all were in here. These are the ones I got from Dell for this tablet. And um for whatever reason their LAN driver their for their wireless is not um working right with this tablet, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to probably have to go and manually search for that driver. But once you install their chipset drivers, uh, you will get touch functionality back. I'm not so sure about the LAN, what happened there, but it's, it's just a driver issue, basically. You can find drivers for it, no problem. Um, just got to find the right driver. Also, guys, um, in order for me to activate Windows without having um, internet connection. I had to activate Windows by phone. So you can do that and it did activate. So that worked too. So kind of plan on that. So everything's activated up and running. Only issue I have is the proper driver for the wireless. And uh, that's, that's easily taken care of there. We'll figure that one out. Anyways, uh, so that's how you install Windows fresh install of Windows on these tablets, and I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Um, look forward to making some more videos in the near future. So, uh, yep, any questions or comments, leave them below. Give me a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't, and uh, we'll see you next time.